Hello friends. Today we are going to talk about our next chapter, which is cash flow. The cash flow is a unit five uh, chapter of the CPT exam. So can you just tell me what exactly is the cash flow? Cash book means, first of all cash book is a subsidiary book of account. We have read in our previous chapter that cash book is a part of subsidiary books of accounts. Just like the other subsidiary books, say uh, journal, there is purchase book, sales book, etc. And cash book is used to record transactions which relate to cash only. Okay. So now let us see why exactly do we need a cash book. Cash book is used to record the cash transactions. So cash book itself serves as a cash account. Whenever we have to record any entry relating to cash, we use cash book. Cash book, if you prepare the cash account, is just like another form of account. We have seen ledger accounts like this. And we are given example of cash account earlier also. There will be date, particular amount, date, particular amount. This is the debit side, this is the credit side. And as per the golden rules of account, we know that cash is an asset. Right? And whenever anything comes in for asset, that is debited. So when cash is coming in, we will have cash debit to pay. And whenever Cash is going out, you will have purchase debit to cash, say 2000 rupees, and say 1000 rupees. So, this is the simplest form of cash account. When cash book is prepared in this form, we call it a simple cash book. Also, cash book is part of the ledger also. When we are preparing it in this manner, then cash book is part of the ledger and it is treated like a principal book also. So cash book is more, it is subsidiary book as well as a principal book. Now there are three types of cash book. Simple cash book, two column cash book and three column cash book. Just what we have done over here is a simple cash book which is just like a ledger now.
if the sound is allowed to us, that will be appearing on the second time. So, if the sound of the stain is allowed, it is the sound received because that is an income and this is the sound allowed because that is an expense for us. Just try to have a look at it and understand it a little bit more. The other thing to note is that we do not balance the discount account. Okay? We do not ever balance the discount account. Why? Because the discount given to someone may not necessarily match the discount that we have received. The other way is like in this in this uh, dashboard we have shown discount as one more column. So one way is column two column dashboard. You can either show discount or you can show bank. So if here is your dashboard, you will have columns for discount and cash amount and similarly also calls for discount and cash. Over here when we use the bank account then you will have columns for bank amount cash amount then also bank and cash. So either you will have a column for bank or you will have a column for discount. You cannot have a column for both of them. Okay? And this is, as you know, this is a column for discount. See, this is a column for discount. And we simply mention that. Remember, there will not be any entry for the line. We will not be mentioning to discount allow. We will not be mentioning that. When we pay a cash to somebody of rupees say 1000 and the person allows discount of 200 rupees, then we have made a payment to ABC. So cash debit to ABC, that is a payment which has been received. Cash is debited, payment is received. Of rupees 1000, we have allowed a discount of 200 to that person. So we were supposed to get 1200, but we have received only 1200 is a discount that we have allowed. Similarly, if we are making a purchase, so if there is a buy purchase is, is what we have made, we made a purchase of rupees, so rupees 1000. Okay. If any discount is allowed in this case, which can be a cash discount, then we can put 200 over there as a cash discount that you have received. Remember that the person who is making a payment to us, he is credited by both the cash paid by him and the discount allowed by him. Similarly, person to whom a payment is made, we are making a payment is made, the person is debited with both the amount paid and the discount allowed by him. Okay? So the person will be debited by both the amount paid and the discount allowed by him. So this was the two column cash book. Three column cash book. We will have columns for cash, discount and bank. So it is nothing but similar way we have prepared the two column cash book. We will add columns for discount and the bank. Remember in case of a two column it was either discount or bank that we have selected. Some points which are to be noted for a three column cash book are 
when we start a new business then what happens is a capital is introduced okay the amount is written in the cash column if the cash is received and it is written in the bank column in case the money is directly put into the bank account the description that we will be using is two capital accounts okay a new cash book will always start with the 